Hey, what's up everybody? For our next video here, I'm gonna get into that that amazing uh, mystery box that I ordered off of somebody on Facebook uh, from these random junk wax, mostly, man, mostly junk wax packs. Uh, I'm gonna get in, open the first, uh, the first set of those. I kind of divvied out which ones I want to open for the first video here. Uh, got a couple rack packs I'm gonna rip into, the 88 Donruss, the 90 Fleer, I also have the 91 Donruss. I know we had several of the 92 Tops packs, so I'm going to get into five of those. I've got a 93 Upper Deck, the 94 Score, the 93 Donruss Series 2, the Stadium Club 91, 91 Fleer, and the 90 Fleer. And the two big ones will save an 87 Donruss pack and the 93 Upper Deck Series 2. I'm going to open one of those during this video. See if we can maybe find... A Derek Jeter rookie card. So I'm going to get into the 92 tops cards here. And see if we can get 92 tops. Not a whole lot going on. There's lots of Hall of Famers in there, but that's some cool photos. Lots of Hall of Famers. Biggest card we're going to be looking for in here is. Is a uh, Manny Ramirez rookie card. We have a prospect card. Brad Osmus is on there. Dave Nilsson, born in Australia. Nice Tony Larusa. Scott Ruffcorn. And Scott Bankhead. <clears throat> I don't think we had. I think I. Would have made it pretty obvious, but I don't think I missed any tops golds. You can get tops golds randomly inserted. For some reason, I thought they were every pack, but they're not. It says it on here. What's it say? Tops gold series. I don't know. That's all right. I'm pretty sure you could get them in packs. I could be wrong. I loved when tops went to these plastic wrappers. They were so easy to open here. All right, so let's get to our next pack here. See if we can find anybody of note. There's a very well cut Mike McFarlane. Got a repeat of the last pack there, part of it. There's a Hall of Famer, Roberto Alomar. So we'll keep all the Hall of Famers out here. So, or superstars. It's not a bad one. Not the nicest guy in the world, but Hall of Famer, Bob Walk. Dave Henderson, Jim Acker, the nice Joe Carter All-Star. It's a nice one. Craig Shipley, Bob Guerin, Ron Darling from the MLB Network now. And a Brian Harvey All-Star. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Another 92 pack here, and then I'm gonna get into I'm going to open another one. Different pack here. Matt Noakes, All-Star. Terry Steinbach. Juan Guzman, who was pretty amazing for a couple years. Zip Roberts. Chris Carpenter. Not the Chris Carpenter that's in the Cardinals Hall of Fame. That is, was a pretty good pitcher. Dean Palmer. There's Tim Raines or Rock Raines. A few years there, they put his nickname on. There's a Ray Lankford Gold Cup. There's a holy cow, that's a horribly cut Robin Yount. Check the back of that out. I just missed, just a little bit. Just missed. We got Jose Melendez, Oil Can Boyd, or they put his real name on there. They put Dennis on there this time. All right, let's get into, let's open one of these. Let's open this 90 Fleer. 90 Fleer. See if we can find us a nice rookie card. There's a Hall of Famer right on top. Mr. Tony Gwynn. I had so much 90 Fleer as a kid. Scott Heeman and Mark Gardner sharing the prospects there. Rick Dempsey. Scott Coolball. Big Cat. 
Andres Galarraga, Tanny Tartable, Sandy Alomar, nice Dave Winfield, big dude Dave Winfield, Devon White, there's the Crime Dog, Fred McGriff, please put Fred McGriff in the Hall of Fame, Ron Hassey, Von Hayes, mm, Von Hayes, Pat Borders, something about Von Hayes that I don't know. I don't know what it is, but. And RJ Reynolds and Danny Gladden taking the wax. If you can see that. They're just a little bit right there. Not too horrible of a pack. We got a couple Hall of Famers, a couple you know, should be Hall of Famer. Let's continue here. Let's let's open one of these racks. Let's do uh, an 88. <laughs> 88 non rust rack pack. Not a whole lot going on in here. You can get a couple Hall of Fame rookie cards in here. Mr. Glavin, Mr. Tom Glavin, and Mr. Roberto Alomar. They both have rookie cards at 88 Don Russ. Not a, with most of this stuff, you know, not a, not a lot of value to it, but... I'm not so concerned about the value. I'm just, I just like ripping this stuff and looking at these. Let's split it halfway down the stack here. Let's see who we can find. Let's see if we can get some Hall of Famers. Keith Hernandez. I don't know. Should Keith Hernandez be in the Hall of Fame? He's, I think he's got a, just as good a shot as a lot of guys do. He should be. I know he's in the Mets Hall of Fame now. Darren Dalton. There's a rookie card. Not one of the big ones, but one of the top three, I guess, with the third probably in the set. Ken Caminetti rookie card. Actually in one of the corners. Not, not too bad, but still. That's not horribly off-centered. But that's a pretty cool one. Willie McGee. Pete Incavilla. There's a Jose Can Seiko. 88. It's a 30 year card for Mr. Canseco. Another Winfield. Another Dave Winfield. All right. Finish that stack off here. Finish this rack off. Another Robin Yount. That one's a little better center than the other one. There's an Yvonne Calderon. Diamond King. Vince Coleman, another Hall of Famer there. Lee Smith, We're back to being cards being horribly off center. Andy Van Slyke. Puzzle pieces are for 88 Donruss was Stan Musial. Cal Daniels. I traded a Cal Daniels rookie card in like fourth grade or something. I remember I had a Fleer. Had Cal Daniels and Paul O'Neill on it, I think. I think it's 86 Fleer. Had the two of them on it. Traded it for a calculator uh, to somebody. It was a really cool calculator, though. I remember the letters were red on it. Though. But anyway, I traded that for a, for a calculator to somebody. It was kind of a sneaky deal. We were behind the bookshelf. It was another Andres Galarraga. Behind the bookshelf, we had it, and we brought it in our backpacks and made the deal back in the reading, reading corner. It's a nice uh, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer. Marty Barrett. All right. Got a rack. Let's open. Let's go to. Let's do this. Ninety-three Donra Series Two. Ninety-three Donra Series Two. Eric Caros back there. All right. Let's see who we got. Rene Gonzalez. Milt Thompson. Jeff Conine. Always thought those were cool when the. Rockies and the Marlins came into the league when during the expansion year. They had their expansion draft. I thought those were cool, getting those cards. Boy, if you remember uh, David Need. David Need and who was it? Nigel Wilson. If you had those cards. Another Leaf Smith, Hall of Famer. 
there with the Cardinals. Cool one. Kevin Moss. Yeah, David Need, I think, and Nigel Wilson were the top draft picks for each for each team. Nice Mo Vaughn. Maurice Vaughn. And getting their card was pretty cool knowing that they were the first pick by the by each team. That was pretty neat. I actually have a 93 Stadium Club, and I still have it. I have a 93 Stadium Club David Need, and it is one of the first day production parallels, which really tough to get. And that's another one of those cards that I thought, if I hold on to this, if I hold on to this card someday, I will be a millionaire. Because this card can only only be worth a minimum of a million dollars. All right. Finish off these 92 tops here. We got a nice Luis Gonzalez. Second year card there with the gold cup. That's a cool one. Randy Myers. There we go. There's a Chipper Jones. This is his second year actually, but that's a cool one. Chipper Jones prospect card. Of course, we'll be looking for his. Not today. We don't have any 91 tops today, but we do have some 91 tops. We'll open in the next videos. But yeah, Chipper Jones prospect card. And that's a that's a pretty cool one. <clears throat> one of the better ones you can get in this set. Mark Leiter, Gold Cup. Alan Watson, draft pick. No, he was on the Cardinals for a while. There's a nice Robin Ventura. Not getting punched in the face by Nolan Ryan. Not yet. His time's coming, though. Paul Molitor. He packs a little bit better than the other ones. Lou Whitaker. Lou Whitaker was a great player. Great player. <clears throat> All right, we got Todd Stottlemyer here. Here's Greg Maddox, the Professor Greg Maddox. Love Greg Maddox. I'll take any Greg Maddox card that I can get. <clears throat> All right. Ron Robin, Don Robinson, Tom Kelly, manager of the Twins. Here's Ken Griffey Sr. The Ken Griffey Jr. 92 Tops card is awesome. Let's see if it's, it's probably not in here. Eric Plunk, Lance Parrish. Greg Hibbard. The Leo Gomez Cup. Sean Dunstan. And... Big Mac, Mark McGuire, and the last 92 is Sid Bream. So, got a nice McGuire. I always thought the backs of those are cool. And the 92 tops, you got the stadium in the bottom. Got their career stats on there. Nice. It's a, it's a nice set. I like the design of the white border. Similar to this year, 2022 tops. Sort of. Sort of. All right, let's get into this. Let's open this uh, 91 Stadium Club. So, it's the first year... Of Stadium Club. First year of Topps Stadium Club. These were nice. They still are nice. Stadium Club's always been a nice set. They had some kind of funky years there in the mid-90s, but pretty cool. And again, what I like about, we'll see if we get somebody good we can look at. Somebody that, Jose Okindo, Cardinals coach. His nickname is The Secret Weapon. Greg Olson. They are glossy. They do stick together a little bit. There we go. That. That is a sick, sick card. Bo Jackson. Love that card. So if we look at the back, they always put, not always, they did for the first few years. They stopped it after like 90, 94 maybe. But they got a picture of the their top first tops card. That's pretty cool. I like that. They got the hitting zone over here. It's just, I don't know, it's just uh, an interesting back. The photography is cool. Looks a lot, looks a lot like the uh, 90 or 87 tops. Future star Bo Jackson. But pretty cool. Bryn Smith. <clears throat> John Burkett. Jason Grinsley. Seitzer. Jim Gantner. There's a very close up picture. Profile of Mike Marshall, baseball's version of a glamour shot. Who we got here? Mariano Duncan and Carl Tuffy Rhodes. Carl Rhodes. 
This is a, considered a rookie card. His rookie was 91, Topps debut, and this is 91 Stadium Club. So definitely best card out of that pack was the, the Bo Jackson. That's a very nice card. It's pretty cool. All right, let's get into one of these racks. Let's do this 90 Fleer. See if this one will tear down the middle like a good rack pack should. No, not so much. So 90 Fleer, you can buy a box of these, get a whole box of these for like 10 bucks. If you want to look at the whiteness <laughs> for that long, but it kind of went the opposite direction. 90 Fleer, a lot of white, plain, 91 Fleer. Get out the shades. All right, let's check it out here. See if we can find uh, Sammy Sosa rookie, Eric Davis, very nice player. George Bell, nice. Atlee Hammaker. There's a Hall of Famer. Ryan Sandberg. Just a lot of, just a lot of plainness. Like the back is a lot of white, but it's affordable. Did buy a lot of, to get a lot of this when I was a kid. Ryan Sandberg Hall of Famer. It's a nice one. Jim Gantner. But we're looking for Larry Walker's rookie card. Sammy Sosa has a rookie card in here. Juan Gonzalez has a rookie card in here. Here's another hot two back back to back Hall of Famers. Alan Trammell and Robbie Alomar. Cards are pretty centered. It's nice Scott Leyes and John Orton prospect. Ramon Martinez. There's another Kevin Moss. Oh, Kevin Moss. Adored by Yankees fans everywhere for like two years. Tom Gordon, Flash, Andy Bennis. We've got one of those league standout cards coming up here. That's pretty cool. And it is Jose Canseco. I thought those were awesome cards. Don Mattingly's got one of these too. But I always thought those were cool little inserts. Still have tons of those, for even for the ones when I was... When I was a kid, look at this. We've seen that before. Dave Winfield, smiling. Devon White, another Fred McGriff. So, Von Hayes. It's like they took our wax pack we opened and just stuck it inside the rack. Same coalition and everything. Look at that, ch <laughs> that checklist. That is like a an illusion, the way that's cut. Is it flat on top or is it not flat? Is it flat or is it not? It looks... Match it up here. Check that out. That's awesome. That is an awesome checklist. If checklist can be awesome, that one is. All right, Greg Walker and we got some stickers. I didn't show the stickers. Hopefully you're not too upset by that. Let's go to, let's just go to the 91 Fleer. I love the Walmart sticker on there, 44 cents. So here's your fair warning, shades, sunglasses. Look away, look, use your peripheral vision if you need to. Because we've gone from that to that. Quite a change. Ramon Martinez, there are really... The only good rookie you're going to find in here is, at least in the base set, is uh, Luis Gonzalez. No provisions. I love those provision cards, but there's not a whole lot going on in that pack. That pack was kind of a dud. The cool thing about 91 Fleer, though, is I did like how they put the picture of the player on the back. They have all the stats, a little write-up. It's, it's pretty cool. The back was pretty nice. All right. Let's do a 93 Upper Deck. This is Series 1. So we're not going to find Jeter in here. There are other good cards to find. Hopefully it's not. It doesn't feel like it's, it's bricked. Because these bricks so badly. Listen to that. So let's take it slow. We got Stan Belinda. The back was really cool. Big picture on the back. Bob Welch. Frank Castillo. You can see 
a little bit of paper loss on there. That's what I'm afraid of if we do hit a Jeter that it'll be, we'll have a little bit of paper loss on it. Hopefully not. I see an insert coming up here. Julio Valera. Oh yeah. I don't know if that's a one of the the Los collections. Mike Pagliarulo or what, but can't remember. Got another Willie McGee. Jeff Bagwell is a nice one. Hall of Famer right there. A little bit of a little bit of paper loss there from the gloss. Check out the back. He's very confused by that card he's looking at. What is that? Can't really tell. Is that like a 90, almost like a 92 tops card he's looking at? Is he signing it or what? I don't know. It's weird. But here we go. That that is a sick, sick card. A little bit of paper loss, but the Los collection. I believe he was a uh, photographer for Sports Illustrated, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. He's a photographer, but he had several of these sets. Went to his locker to schedule the shoot for the next evening. Cal took out an appointment book to check his media schedule, said he was free. What struck me was he was the first athlete I ever saw with an appointment book. And then it's got some awesome uh, photography on that. So check if you don't know about those, check those out. Look those up and look at some of the, the photography that they have. It's, it's really cool. It's a really cool set. Got a Jerry Brown. Got Roberto Alomar. Seen him a handful of times already. Got Mike Lavalier. Flip these last couple around here. It doesn't look like anybody too notable. Lenny Dykstra. Orlando Merced, Rick Sutcliffe, and Rusty Meacham. So, definitely the best card out of that was the Ripken. Those were randomly inserted in packs. Those are that's a that's a cool one to get. Really cool one to get. All right, so we're a little over twenty minutes here. So let's uh, get into this ninety-one Donruss. That's weird. My Alexa just started talking. Can you hear that? <laughs> I gotta admit, that made me jump. Sitting out here by myself, I and Alexa starts talking. I don't even know why she started talking. I just said her name right now, and she didn't start talking. But out of nowhere, she just started talking about the London Stock Exchange. That creeped me out. That creeped me out. All right. So now that I got the shivers out of the way here, check out the uh, 91 Donruss Series 1. Series 1 were blue. The Series 2 91 Donruss were, had the green borders. Puzzle, the 91 Donruss, I think it was Willie Stargell? Uh, maybe? I don't, I'm not, I can't remember. Anyway, that was a nice one. King Griffey Jr., All-Star. Uh, <clears throat> third year card there. Always like that card. Anything with a Griffey that I like. Dave Parker. Mark Icorn, Bobby Bow, and Danny Darwin. And we'll finish off this rack. Of course, we have Diamond King there, Bobby Thigpin, got Fernando Valenzuela. Chris Sabo. Dave Hansen, rated rookie. Another Lou Whitaker. There's a Hall of Famer, Diamond King, Edgar Martinez, and another All-Star, Mark McGuire, and that wraps that one up. All right, so we got three left here. We got a 94 score, Series 2, and the 94 scores have these black borders. Hopefully, they're... Not, they're stuck together. That's a sound that you love to hear. You do get one of these Gold Rush cards in every pack, but check that out. There's a sweet Manny Ramirez early in his career. That's a cool card. It says rookie prospect, but his rookie was 92. 
92 tops, but that's a that's a pretty cool card. I honestly don't remember having that card. I'm, that might be one that I don't have. Got another rookie here of Daryl Whitmore. Who is this? John Roper, rookie. Don't remember anything about him. Got a little bit of stick in here going on. We got us a Wrigley Field card and a Gold Rush of Steve Carse. As you can see, that's where the sticking was happening. Check that out. But yeah, I think you get one of these per pack. Steve Carse, rookie prospect. And it says Gold Rush on the back. Nice little parallel. Tough to get in good condition, that's for sure. Mike Pagliarulo again. Mike McFarlane. Again, what else we got here? Greg Olson, he wasn't too bad. Royce Clayton, he was a pretty good shortstop. Wes Chamberlain, Reggie Jefferson, Kirk Gibson, Todd Zeal, and Tommy Green. So, the mini Ramirez card was pretty cool. I like that one a lot. So, let's uh Go to our last two of the, the main events here. 87 Donruss. See if we can hit us a Maddox. Greg Maddox rated rookie. Bo Jackson rated rookie. Mark McGuire. Tons of stuff in here. Tons of good stuff in here. Love 87. I love all 87 products. Don Oss. Willie Wilson. Jeff Lottie. And yeah, if we get it, it's probably going to be off-centered. Um, a majority of these are. He's a very cool <laughs> Jose Canseco. He looks about 80 pounds heavier than he in that in that picture than he really is. Dave Smith, before he juice, there's a Hall of Famer. Jack Morris, cool one. Ty Ganey, Daryl Evans, Andy Hawkins. Bob Ojeda, and Marvin Freeman. So not a whole lot happening in there. Did get a Conseco Diamond King, Jack Morris. But all right, here we go. Have not opened this in a long time. I have some sealed boxes of 93 Upper Deck Series 2, but I'm kind of scared to open them. Kind of scared to open them. But these look actually... These don't look too bad at all, but there's our first uh, prospect card. That's what the Jeter will look like if we if it's in here, but I doubt if it is because we got Carlos Delgado instead. Carlos Delgado's rookie was uh, 92, I believe, but that's still a pretty cool one. The corner's kind of funky, but not too bad. That's a pretty nice card. All right. We got Kevin Stocker, Diamond Debut. Another prospect here of... Calvin Murray, is that some paper? Yeah, a little bit. It didn't stick though, but we're not going to get a Jeter in this pack, so we still got some hope. We still got a couple other ones to go through, but we saw the same design here. Luis Salaseya, same design as we saw earlier from Series 1. Kevin McReynolds, Juan Samuel, getting a face full of dirt that tastes it good check that out rob nin shorts are a little too short there all right let's move on darnell coles roberto kelly greg gore we got a robin ventura here checklist pretty cool and we're going to wrap this up with another Kurt Gibson, Gerald Young, and Phil Plantier. So, no Jeter rookie. wasn't too bad of a wasn't too bad of a rip there. Lots of we had lots of good stuff in these packs. You know, I just set some aside as I as I was uh, going through there. But the Cal Ripken, that's probably. It's probably my favorite between that one and the Bo Jackson. Those two are probably my favorite cards that I that I pulled out. 
of here. So you guys have to let me know which one your favorite card was in this in this rip here, and I will uh, catch you on the next one whenever we continue. See ya.